I spent the last seven days turning Red Dead Redemption 2 into the Civil War, and I will be joining the Northern Soldiers, who are fighting for the abolishment of slavery. However, we will be taking on the South, who want to keep slavery around because it produces more money, which in return can also cause more greed. And my journey throughout this war will not end until it reaches its inevitable and fatal ending. My journey starts just four days until the war ended, and without knowing what could happen over the next four days, I happily joined to serve my country. We want to thank each and last one of you for your service. You will be sent out tomorrow for battle. May God be heavily on your side. Good luck, gentlemen. And without having much time to process my decision, I was already sent off to one of my first battles. And just like that, I was officially lost at war. The aftermath of the battle was of course brutal, leaving behind husbands and fathers. I was able to find an abandoned barn, but I had to be careful because I had no idea who might be inside. Hello? Hello? If somebody's in here, please come out now. Okay, put your hands up, put your hands up, put your hands up. Jesus, Jesus, put the gun down, please, okay? Listen, I'm, I'm the same soldier as you. I got lost in the barn as well. Let's figure a way to get out of here. And just like that, I found another North soldier named Charlie. We obviously couldn't stay in the barn, so we decided to head out and take some horses. All right, Charlie, here's the deal, man. I'm going to take one of these horses here. You take another one. We're going to try to ride and see if we can find our troops. They must have pushed more south. I don't hear anybody so far. Just stay close. We should be good. Oh, crap. Hey, in front of us. Charlie, in front of us. Let's go. Oh, damn it. God. Yeah, right in front of us, take him. Screw this, I'm getting off. Charlie, I'm low, ho! Oh my god! Hey, thanks for saving me back there. Oh no. Sorry, girl. Charlie and I went on to find an abandoned house. On my first day at war, I had found another North soldier, but had little hope of survival upon my future. Alright Charlie, it's time to get up, man. We got a ways to walk to find our troops. I think we should be okay, but I'm not sure if there's anybody out here. You've got to be kidding me. Charlie, just run. We don't have time to shoot him. Just run. We're outnumbered. Charlie and I were placed in the St. Denis Jail. I have never seen any North soldier up in this here jail, so you boys better get comfortable, because you're probably going to be here for a long time. <laughs>
When Charlie and I were reaching the jail, we saw just how brutal and disgusting they were to the people of the South. Any type of misbehavior or misconduct was met with brutal and vicious force, and these barbaric actions are led by one person, General Suski, who is the leader of the South. We knew we needed to somehow escape the jail. The problem with this plan is that there are hundreds of soldiers scattered across the city, so escaping was just a death wish. But I had a plan. Alright boys, you boys come step out now. I'm gonna have to cuff you up and take you over to the prison, alright? Come on, don't be shy, don't be shy, turn around. There you go. What the hell's he doing? Something I haven't seen before. Alright, come on, let's get the heck out of here. Charlie, go take the other guy, go! I got this guy! Let's go, Charlie! Hey, why don't we split up? We'll meet by the street, okay? Alright, that's a good idea. Charlie, I got a gun! Go! I'll hold him off! Go! Run, Charlie! Run! I got a gun! Just go! God, I hope he's with you. I hope he's with me. Go, go! We must have had some serious luck because we somehow escaped the city. Oh, dear God, dear God. Okay, listen. I'm pretty sure there's a north base not too far off from here. We're just gonna have to get the heck out of the south. That night, Charlie and I found another abandoned house in hopes to spend the night there. Let's see if we can spend the night in this little guy right here. Hello? There's two people down here. Uh, a little help, Charlie! Oh, God! Oh, so gosh! Charlie, I'm out of ammo. I need your help, buddy. We decided to stay the night in the abandoned house either way. And the next day, we were lucky enough to find the North Base, located in Van Horn. The base held many of soldiers from all across the North, and for the first time in a long time, we actually felt like we weren't alone in this terrible war. You know, Charlie, I sure do hope whoever's still watching has subscribed to the channel. I don't see why they wouldn't subscribe. I know I would. We're North Troops! Please, don't shoot! Don't worry, we recognize your uniform. Thank you. Do us a favor, though. Pick up the correct weaponry when you can, okay? Sounds good, we will. We didn't have much time to gather ourselves. However, Charlie and I grabbed a drink before we went off to bed. Okay, you got to tell me, why are you wearing that cloak? On you. I mean, it's, it's been confusing since the beginning. <laughs> it's just my father's, that's all. Him and I are really, really close. As a kid, I went hunting, fishing, you name it. My father was always by my side. And well, before I went off to war, he gave this to me, and he said to give it back when I came home. But I really don't think I'm coming home. The next day, we were off to further push inside the South. Our goal today was to officially take over the entire South border. As you know by now, war is no picnic. Before battle, I want to remind you, a true soldier fights not because he hates what is in front of him, but because he loves what is behind him. May God be on your side. Good luck, gentlemen.
There was no time to gather our thoughts, and what we thought was going to be another battle in the South turned out to be the worst of them all. started to die out, General Suski had no choice but to call off his men. Charlie, where are you, buddy? The war's over, they just waved the white flag! What the heck? Hey! Hey, get away from him! Get away, the war's over! <laughs> <laughs> 